Hello YouTube, I'm just staying inside today. It's a little warm out there. It's a nice day. It's a little warm. I should have went out for a walk on this one. Uh, because maybe I should have went out for a walk on this one. Uh, yeah, I was watching a, a, a live stream. Uh, I was watching a replay of a live stream after last night's video. Of course, I didn't sleep too good last night after last night's video. But Angie and I had to get some things off our chest. And just, uh, we're going to stand behind that video, uh, 100% on that. Okay, here's another thing we're going to stand behind. Uh, actually, I'm sitting down. <laughs> Can't say stand behind, because I'm sitting in front. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just saw a live stream, uh, just replay of a live stream that I kind of missed uh, somewhat, so I kind of replayed. Uh, I guess some people are don't have a clue out there when YouTubers out there filming in public and it seems like a lot of people is confronting a lot of YouTubers again and don't want to be filmed. Now most of them will say if you don't want to be filmed they will glad to move the camera to this direction or that direction but they're gonna keep filming anyway but uh, here's the best advice if you don't want to be filmed never approach the camera because you just never look good because it always turns bad I'll tell you why okay whenever I'm doing an edited video around town or do a live stream or anything with a tripod and trying to do a special video project for our YouTube audience of course <coughs> my cameras has always been limited uh, and you just kind of win the argument uh, just basically saying that you know, I got told well, flat out by one lady on the riverfront. Uh, I probably told the story many times, but we got new subscribers since then. I got told by many subscribe uh, by this lady many times. Uh, I guess she told me to try to tell as many times as possible off camera. Says she saw me with a just a regular camera and a tripod. And said I had to have permit to film up there. Well, I told the lady. I said if I had a, if I was required to have a permit, you would not be allowed up here because the whole place would be closed for filming. And it's not good to have a permit when you're one man, one camera, one tripod, whatever, uh, and that because uh, I know some cities are trying to squeeze every tax dollars out of the people and all that stuff, but uh, so. Uh, it still tries to keep positive as much as possible. But I, I told the lady flat out that uh, basically uh, if, if I need a permit uh, for any reason for filming up there, I said you would not be allowed up here until I got done filming. And guess what? You may not be allowed there for the whole day because that's, that's, those permits are designed for uh, large video productions like movie, uh, like movie studios. TV productions and all that stuff that requires that permit does require uh, to pay for the police for protection and security uh, in a general area uh, that's what the permit prices are for to help pay for that and also the ability to use services without additional charges and all that stuff and sometimes they'll pay a business flat out a fee just to film in their business, uh, a flat out fee, you know, words, they close it to the regular customers except for the main actors and any uh, extras. And sometimes the extras could be locals just going in and eat for free, I guess. I don't know. I've never been part of a movie production. I want to know how, how to start one. I'm just one man with one camera and one simple editing software. That's all I do. If you see anybody, like I said, I do do live streams around town, walking live streams and that. I do have very little to no issues, but sometimes if my eagle eyes gets working at the right time, I even notice something with you, the drivers out there, uh, where you have to stop, get out your cell phone, and do a cam on cam while you're still driving. Well, if you get in an accident, ain't my fault. Because you're the ones behind the wheel of the car. You're the ones holding a, a, cam a, a cell phone camera and try to do a cam on cam. And all of a sudden, now you're in a fender bender. And guess what? My video could be more damaging to your case. Uh, also, be aware of that. Uh, yeah, never go cam on cam when you're behind the wheel of a car. Uh, it's, it, actually, 
Uh, I have seen people and heard people where they freak out over somebody's video camera and they freak out so bad that their employer sees it and it doesn't look for them and it does not, it's not a good look for them also because it's their employee freaking out and people says, oh yeah, I saw you. Oh yeah, I saw you. Somebody freaking out over a video, over a video camera. They're freaking out. I mean, almost nearly assaulted them and all that stuff, and and all that stuff. An employer sees that. Guess what? They call the employee in and say, "Don't bother coming to work because you are terminated." Luckily for me uh, and Angie, for Angie and I, uh, even we do have upset videos. It's usually out here on the patio. We try to keep it at home as much as possible. But out in the community, we try to be as positive as positive to be and be happy. Uh, just be happy doing it and just show the positivity. Uh, just don't embarrass yourself. Just being on YouTube is embarrassing itself on its own. That's a whole different chapter on that one. But uh, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's one of those uh, borderline issues. Uh, but our employer is pretty cool with it right now. They so in fact they so cool uh, when we come into uh, when we go to work and there's like a job board and sometimes they'll put sometimes once in a while uh, when Angie and I ends up working together they'll write on this job assignment board Angie and Chuck show and shows our job assignments for <laughs> that day they put down the Angie and Chuck show that's how cool it is uh, so yeah we have pretty cool employers uh, that we work for so. Uh, yeah, just, uh, and they're pretty cool what we do, and as long as we uh, stay with her and our, just be uh, ourselves here when we do our videos, and uh, just when we go out live stream, just be ourselves. If someone does try to confront us, just do it uh, as part of respect. This is probably a good idea for you guys to start YouTube channels and all that stuff, but usually when you see an angry person coming out of nowhere, uh, because they don't want to be on film, and it, it's too late, they're already on film, now it's more, uh, now they're crying more, they're freaking out to a point that they're about to assault you and all that stuff, uh, just go ahead and keep the cameras going, because you know why, if they do assault you, you do have the evidence you need to convict, uh, technically in a way, and... If we do film something, if we do catch something in our videos that looks like, the, hey, that may be a crime, I will take that video clip uh, to the police department if I have to. If they're looking to investigate something, if I had to be in the area and they're investigating a crime, I'll go through my, uh, I'll go through my video clips. Uh, but I only keep them for so long. But if I go through all my video clips. If I feel something that is questioned, I would keep it. Actually, I kept one video clip for almost a year, and I didn't hear nothing on it uh, or heard anything about it. I guess there was no investigation of some kind, so I just simply got rid of the clip. Uh, I thought it was borderline. I thought I'd just keep it and say someone's asking for information. Uh, no one was really asking for information because I think what they did was they caught some, the person. I don't know if I actually caught the actual crime that took place, but like I said, when you do videos and you really look at all the clips, and sometimes at nights I don't really have time to do clip by clip uh, review and all that stuff. That's what I'm out and about. I try to do more in that. Well, actually, to tell you the truth, I be more about that. Uh, just look at every clip closely. Just look at the background scenes and all that stuff. And that's basically what I do, uh, technically in a way. Just another boarding video, just a little insight of, of what it's like to be a YouTuber. Uh, just my opinions on how to be a YouTuber. That's uh, basically I title this. Uh, it's just got to be find the knack that people enjoy. Even if we don't have the amazing views, uh, we keep some views happy and some people use our tips to start up their channels and that and we will help you uh, if you're local we will help you in a way give you some input some opinions in fact my offer is still open to a couple of local youtubers here in town uh, if they want some advice I'll give them some advice uh, just I know there's a couple of channels has a lot of potential uh, just they have to keep at it the best way to grow a channel is 
self-promoted. Uh, self-promoting. And uh, the best way to self-promoting, if YouTube has came up in a conversation, talk about somebody else's channel, and by the way, kind of slip in your channel. Oh, by the way, I'm a YouTuber too. This is my channel name, blah, blah, blah. I do this all the time. And people will just jaw drop. And I say, yeah, I'll check it out. And I say, yeah, it's just worth checking out. Uh, a percentage of the subscribers came from local, is from local subscribers. And some of them came from out of town. Just uh, casual talk and that. So it does help out. Right now, I'm going to be done with this video. Uh, if there's any ideas, uh, if you guys want us to do on a Monday and Tuesday, but something like that. I don't really like that kind of uh, request videos because request videos don't do very well. Uh, at all and uh, what happens if we do a 180 uh, I'll guarantee you uh, a lot of you guys may be unsubscribing if we did a 180 on something do something that would not that's not us uh, technically in a way but uh, yeah okay uh, even Angie's not with me today she she's not here today because I'm actually in her seat that's normally my seat and I think we're gonna get out of here today I thought I'd just give you some uh, ideas, uh, my opinions of how to be a YouTuber, and that. Just uh, be careful out there. Uh, when you come to an aggressive person, and if you need a video for self-defense, do it for self-defense, but don't be act, don't be aggravating them. Just try to be cool, calm, collective. And when out in public, just let them know that there's no expectancy of privacy in public. Maybe that's why one channel here in town is kind of shut down because I put him on my video and that and I guess he didn't like it because he's not on YouTube no more well that's what happens when you say something like that I will put you on video and you will be eating those words and he not just ate uh, not just ate those words he choked on those words yes Chuck I guess you're a meanie I guess but I have to be mean. It's time to end this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and subscribe button, notification bell. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey, we're going to be out and about tomorrow. How about that? Yay! Let's go out and about tomorrow, hopefully. We'll, we'll see what we're doing out and about tomorrow.